Now, another way in which you can use loops is to loop the outgoing track. In the previous video, we looped the first phrase of the incoming track to extend the length of our intro, but now we're gonna loop the outgoing track before we fade it down so that we can keep it playing alongside the new track longer. Now, you wanna use this when you have two tracks which work well together musically, and I've gone through this a little bit in the mixed in key video of this course. But whether you've watched that video or not, don't worry about it. I want you to get used to using this looping technique so that you can apply it once you do learn about mixing in key. So let's begin. I have my master track set on deck one and my incoming track set on deck two. My goal here is to loop the outgoing track just where the drop ends. So that would be right where I've got the cue point set over here and the waveform lowers in height substantially. Now I need to check the BPMs are correct, and they are. I need to check my headphone cues are set up so that I can hear my incoming track. My echo level depth is down and I'm gonna target the effect on channel two in case I wanna use it before I fade out the track, which I probably will do. All right, now I'll begin this track and go through the transition. Let's begin. Eight, two, three, four, one. Five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, one. I'm gonna start turning this up now with the loop active. I'm going to exit the loop before it reaches the end. Seven, eight, two, three, four, swap the lows. Now I'm gonna loop the outgoing track. And I've got a two bar loop going on the outgoing track, which means I can keep it in here for as long as I like. I can even start to play around with the fader a bit. And echo out two, three, four, one. And now the track has been faded out. I'd like to say it's that simple, and in reality it is. It's just that you have to get the timing right. So make sure you practice pushing the in button and the out button at the beginning of a bar and the end of a bar on the outgoing track. Now, the in point should almost always be at the beginning of a bar. The out point, again, should almost always be at the end of a bar. And I prefer to loop for two bars, four bars, or eight bars, because that can still correlate to the phrases of the other track. So go ahead and try this and I'll see you in the next video.